In this video, what I'm going to show you how to do is expose a blueprint variable to the cinematic sequencer. Um, so an example here is that in my blueprint, I've got this light that I've just created, very simple, and um, a light brightness and a light color variable. And what this does is in the actual cinematic sequencer, I've done it so that it's changing the color and changing the brightness. And as you can see over the left, uh, right here, sorry, um, it's changing the color and the brightness values and all that. So obviously you might think, well, you can al already do that with a light um, just in the scene itself. But obviously anything, um, when I show you uh, how this works, anything that allows you to expose to the cinematic can be done using this. So it could be that you want to change textures completely, or you want to um, create animation speeds inside there, you want to differentiate them inside the sequence so this is can be all be done in the way we I'm going to show you so what I'll do is I'll right click and create a blueprint class actor BP and we'll name this new light so drag that into our scene I'll get this little ball and open the blueprint now what we're going to do here is add component point light you can use it with nearly every light so it doesn't really matter um, so that's put our point light in I'm just going to set this to a crazy intensity and a color so we can actually see something inside of Unreal so if I drag that up there we go so now I do this in the construction script you can do this in the event graph the event graph that that will only trigger when you actually press play um, in the game in your game or your scene or whatever you're doing the construction script allows you to see edits with inside the editor so if we go back over to that other one as I do stuff there it's actually changing in the editor so you get a visual idea of what's going on obviously a construction script can get a lot more intense depending on uh, a lot more intense in requirements for the system depending on what you're doing with it so always bear that in mind but obviously if you're doing things say like um, virtual production things like that it doesn't really matter as much so back to our blueprint off the con what we can do is drag in the point light off the po uh, point light node we'll go uh, set intensity so this is your brightness and again off of the point light uh, set color so that's your color so we'll right click on the new intensity promote it we'll give it a name say light color and you'll notice here we've got exposed to cinematic now you'll know if this can work in a cinematic because it will say that some of these don't like um, I believe if we go to say um, a I think it's an integer is it one of one of these doesn't name there you go for instance name doesn't have it so you can't use it in the cinematic uh, sequencer so back to our light color so we want to tick this and we also want to click the eye icon and then we'll go to our new light again Oh, light color, new light, promote a variable, give it a name, light color, done that wrong, rename that one to intensity, and rename that to light color. There we go. Again, exposed to cinematics. Now, you want to if we're using the construction script you want to expose this so you can see it live happening in the editor as it's doing it um, when we create our cinematic sequence so like when I showed you the example there when I was scrubbing it was changing that so to get that to happen what we need to do is go to uh, class settings and under blueprint options over the right you have run construction script in sequencer take that compile save all oh, and again make sure that I is showing so now we're done with this so if we go over to our light here now we open up our cinematic sequencer so i'll create a new one from scratch so we'll go add master sequencer we'll name this uh, test and give it however many seconds you want 10 seconds um what's going on there what's going on Give it a value of whatever, I'm not sure what quite is going on there, but give it one minute. There we go. Um, create sequence, uh, master sequence. So, what I'll do in here is just right click, delete the shot track. Um, so, we just start with a fresh window here. So, 
If we go back to our viewport, click on our blueprint that we've created um, in inside the viewport, so our light bulb here. Now, once we've clicked that, if we go back to our sequencer, click track, actor to sequence, add blue BP new light or whatever it could be, BP spotlight, whatever you've named it. Then we right uh, click on the track, and down here, if you've done it correctly, you've got the two fields that we uh, tune uh, the variables that we created inside our blueprint. So light intensity, light color. So add that, and again track, add the light color. Not sure why it does this, but I just find that if I click any of these, it'll show what I need it to show. So give that we'll both give these both a value of a thousand, so that we've got a light on. Now what we can do here is we can key create a keyframe by clicking this little um, circle here, and again for that. And we're going to then scroll along and go, uh, let's say, drop that down to a thousand, and uh, we'll change the color of it to green. Then we'll move along again, up that up to 10,000, and we're going to make it blue. And then we're going to drop it to 5,000, make it teal. So as you can see there, that's now when we scrub, it's changing the light colors. Now this can be applied, as I said before, to anything that allows you to basically go to our construction script, that go to, our, to anything that allows you to expose to cinematics, you can use this for. Um, so yeah, that's very handy for virtual production, uh, cinematic scenes, whatever. Um, I hope that helps, and if you, if it does, please do give a like and maybe subscribe.